Australia Gateway is an organization helping S Sri Lankan students arriving to Australia. It's with great pleasure I'd like to introduce uh, Nikita, the CEO of this organization, and also is the director of Lyceum International Schools in Sri Lanka. Nikita, good morning and welcome to our program. Good morning, Derek. Uh, first of all, will you be able to briefly tell us what was the purpose for you to organ organize the, uh, have this organization called Ostadi Gateway? Well, uh, we started about three months ago and uh, the basic idea is to provide a reliable service mm. and a genuine service to the students of Sri Lanka coming to Melbourne and, of, and also a branch in Melbourne uh, where we guide children in Melbourne students to change their courses um, and guide them along a secure future. Now, the one of the main purpose. Now, you were you were in Australia and you had f few difficulties. Uh, yeah, when you started. Actually, your uh, uni. Um, I came to Australia in two thousand seven, two thousand six, yeah. two thousand seven, and uh, I didn't have the best of experiences yeah. when I arrived. And I thought, you know, this can be done better. Yeah. And uh, we can provide a more reliable service, and children can be more comfortable because I was seventeen when I came here. Yeah. You know, at that point in time, it was very difficult. So I am a Monash graduate. Yeah. I spent six years, uh, almost five, five to six years in Melbourne, yeah. uh, and after which I went back uh, to Sri Lanka to work for the school. So that's when I thought, you know, after meeting some partners in Melbourne as well, that, you know, we could do this in a very uh, reliable way mm -hmm. uh, with our, you know, we have some good relationships, exclusive relationships. In with respect to student visas, so we can uh, do something really good and guide the children for a secure future. Okay. Now you got an office also in Colombo. Yeah. How does that work? Well, uh, the office is in uh, Majestic City, yeah. and uh, it's just a startup. But uh, children come in. Uh, we offer courses to in all of Australia, and. Um, you have to register with us, yeah. which is uh, um, which can be done at the Majestic City office, and we provide guidance depending on your qualifications, because it, it certain not all children are equally qualified and c can attend the top universities. Um, sometimes you are misguided; you come over here, and then you are lost, and you lose your visas just because of you're doing the wrong course, or you don't have an opportunity afterwards to work in the field of work. Um, so what we aim to do is that. And uh, in Colombo or in Melbourne, wherever, we just want to give the best information to students. And the be they can select what is best for them. Okay. In other words, guidance like uh, now, because you lived here for six years, you will know to slot them at Deakin or Swinburne or RMIT or whatever university which offering <coughs> the, the exactly now uh, currently at the moment it's not it's mainly not the university that we look at it's we evaluate universities by their faculties and how capable and uh, the faculties of these universities are so I think we with uh, my education background in the country and in uh, Australia as well we can provide that reliable guidance with our counsellors who are trained. Uh, we can provide all that in a very correct way to the uh, students. Okay. Now that's that's on the education side of it. But how about the accommodation and the and the uh, other facilities? Exactly, Eric. Now what what we see most of the time is okay. Enter the child into whichever university, and that's it. But we want. When what we have to understand is when students come to Australia, it's a new country to them, yeah. and there there's a bit of pressure. You're homesick. You miss home, so we need to address that. We need to do whatever it, whatever needed and prepare them for that. And what the basic needs? Maybe it it can be a phone line, or it can be a accommodation, or you know the basic things. Mm -hmm. So we plan on guiding our children in that type of way and giving them a comprehensive sort of service. So that's the basic game. Okay. 
So the time you came, there wasn't anything, uh, no service as such uh, nothing, for nothing your guidance. Sort. I came through an agent as well. Okay. But uh, I never, we never got that type of service. You know, it was very ambiguous. Okay. We we didn't know. We weren't sure of you know what was happening after giving all the documents. We were never you know we never had that hundred percent assurance mm -hmm. until we came here. So I thought you know we if with the correct contacts and with the right links you can provide this information very correctly to the student. So when we can do that, you know, why not do it? Nikita, let me wish you all the very best. You are doing something uh, very good to our motherland, uh, bringing our Sri Lankan young st students to Australia and giving them the full guidance. And let me wish you all the very best. Thank you very much, Derek.